Okay, this is my computer setup. I'm pretty happy with it. But it's having problems running the Adobe Elements Premiere 2018. And there was some big controversy between Adobe and Dell and NVIDIA who are the owners of the video boards that are in this computer. Nobody was of much help. Uh, the one thing I noticed was that memory was being used up pretty much. Now there is 16 gigabytes of memory in here. It's got Let's see, for eight slots, four slots which are not used. The four slots that are used has four, four gigabyte boards in it, which brings it to 16. Uh, Dell says that you should mix eight and four gigabyte memory sticks. So I'm gonna put four more, four gigabyte memory sticks in. I bought these memory sticks from a refurbisher. They're Dell parts, but they're refurbished memory. They got a 30 day warranty on them, but they're like a quarter of the price. So we're gonna try them. So I, I'm not a computer guy. I don't get into computers. I don't take computers apart. I have no idea when they talk. But to me, it's gibberish. But apparently these are the right parts. Dell uh, Pro support used to be very, very good. And now kind of walked away from it. They did give me the part number. Uh, I have sent five messages to that person to confirm that this was in fact the right part. I sent the link. He didn't even respond. I didn't even get a response back. Not even a response saying I'm not going to respond. So we're going to try it. So the first thing I got to do is turn everything off. And then they want you to disconnect everything and then take the cover off. Now I've read the service manual, but when I open this thing up, I'm going to be kind of lost. So here we go. We're going to turn everything off. Get this out of the way. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Put it out. Now they want you to unplug everything, which is gonna be a major thing. I'm trying to set this thing up so we can. Find all the pieces again. Uh, that's to the microphone. Okay. It's everything off of that side. First thing, take the cover off. Now, it doesn't say anything, but the board says to worry about static charge. So I made myself a little anti-static wrist thing here. I don't know if it does me any good or not. Now, 
What they want me to do is to take the optical drive out next. You know what? I'm going to go get some light. I'll be right back. Okay. A little more light on the subject. Put our anti-static thing back on here. Our homemade anti-static cuff. Now it says the next thing you got to do is disconnect this optical drive. I'm wondering if we can't just take it out. They say just lift this up. I don't see any reason why I have to go to connect that or just lay it out of the way like that. And then the next thing you got to do is take out this memory shroud. That's pretty straightforward. And there's two memory boards there and two empty slots. So let's put some memory in there. It says uh, static sensitive handle with a static safe workstations. All right, kind of looks like it goes down like that. So let's put this one in right here. Doesn't seem to want to go in. Got a little slot down there. Okay. And then it said push down in. So it snaps and it snapped in. Okay, let's do the next one. those two clips. Stick this down in there. Uh, it's clipped in real nice. So let's put the shroud back in. Goes in like that. Goes down here like that. That wire goes like that. And pushes down here and that put down. Okay. That all looks good. That's in, that's in. Okay, so now we gotta do this one back here. These shrouds must be for keeping this thing cool. Okay, and this one goes in like this. Yep. Uh, release the clip. Put this down in there. Okay, it clipped in place. Okay, goes like that. Release those clips. Put it in the slot. Push down. No. It goes like that. No. This way. No. This way. And this way. That doesn't go in. different. That's a different board. That's not the right board. Well, I should take a picture of that, huh? Let's take this out. Set that. Like so. Yep, 
like this. All clipped in. Put the shroud back in. Alright. Set this back in. Now I'll try this. That's better. Okay, so that wire was in the way. Take my ground strip off, put this back in here, like so. Put the cover back on. I can get rid of this. Okay. Put it back. Alright. We'll start with power cord at the lower bottom. No, we don't want it on. Okay. No. We don't want it to be on. Okay, so all right, these four are the higher grade USBs and these two are not. So we want to plug in the USBs into there. Then this one here. This one here is for the power supply to communicate. Feed that goes to the remote drive and that goes to a remote drive and this is hmm yeah one that I don't know I don't know what that is but that is for a feed of some kind so we're gonna stick that up here Okay. Does it work? Where's the mouse? Turn this on. All right, An alert. The amount of system memory has changed. F1 to reboot. F2 for system setup utility, F5 to run on board diagnostic. Let's do F5. Let's see, CPU fan, memory fan, right, memory fan, left, PC fan, hard drive fan, USBs. No problems have been found with this system so far. Do you want to run the remaining memory test? This will take about 30 minutes or more. Do you want to continue? Recommend it. Well, no, let's say no. All tests passed. Okay. So, exit. Do you want to exit and reboot? Okay. So, all the tests passed. Now, let's see what we get. So we should have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 is 28 gig. We should have 28 gigs of memory. Not the 32 that we wanted. Because one of the boards is not right. 
hopefully they're all right. I didn't compare them. I just assumed they were right. They said they were they were the exact dull part. It was just a refurbished part, but obviously they sent me the wrong part. Okay, install RAM, 28 gigabytes, 28 gigabytes, so that's correct, I got it, so it recognizes it. Okay, let's see, let's, let's uh, load this and see what happens. I'm at 25%. Here's memory down here somehow. Memory usage is way down. CPU is, is not as high as what it used to be for some reason. I think that helped. All right. Okay.